Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we'll learn how to change the site navigation of a SharePoint site. But before we proceed, let us understand why the navigation is important in SharePoint site. So the most effective uh, SharePoint sites help viewers to find what they need quickly so that they can use the information they need to make the decisions and they can learn about what is going on. They can access the tool they need or they can engage with colleague to help uh, solve a problem. So good navigation experience presents viewers with a complete picture of what is available on the site and combined with the home page to provide a comprehensive story for the site. So we have the site and page navigation fundamentals. So if you are planning for the site and a page navigation, it involves thinking about the first is organizing. So you can grouping the logical and the similar intents. Then we have the labeling. So writing clear labels you, your users will immediate understand. Third is the usability. So users ability to easily navigate to end to end experience. Then the last is findability. Findability is users are users have the ability to quick find what they need. So friends, let's uh, now go to our lab environment and let's see how we can change the site navigation using the GUI method or using the PowerShell as well. Okay, so friends, now we are on our SharePoint Admin Center. I will go to Active Sites and we will see the site navigation on the communication site as well as on the team site. So let me open both the sites in new tab. So this site with the name of home, you can see it is a communication site. Let me hover it a bit here. So you can see this is the communication site. And then we have this site with the name of fly hub. And this is the team site. So first let's go to our communication site with the name of home. Okay. So now we are on our communication site. You can see this is the site navigation. It's showing you the links to go to the document library page and site contents. You can add more links. If you want, you can simply click on edit. And from here, if you'll click on this plus, you can choose what you want to add in this navigation, like the link and label, and you can add the address over here. And then you, if you'll click on, okay, the link will be appear over here. Let me cancel it. Now say, for example, if I want to change the navigation from here to here in the left pane, let's see whether it is possible on the communication site or not. So if I will click on the gear icon, here we'll click on change the look and now we'll click on the navigation. Now here you can see we are only getting the two options of menu style like the mega menu and cascading and there is the toggle button by which we can turn off the site navigation. If I will turn this off, you can see all the navigation links are gone. And if I will open it, you can see again, they are back. So in the communication site, we don't get an option to change the site navigation from from top to the left. But now let's go to our team site. This is my team site. I will go to my document library. Here you can see there are the site navigation is by default on the left side. Same you can click on edit and you if you want to add the links, you can add it over here. Like say, for example, I will add the link google.com. You can enter the display names. I will give the name Google and you will click on OK. And then if you want this Google to be just above the site navigation, you can simply click on this and click on move above. So you can see by this way, you can manage your site navigation. Now, if you will click on save, you can see the link is now added off with the name of Google. If I'll click on it, you can see I can directly go to Google. Now let's go back. Now let's see how we can change the site navigation on this side. So I will click on this gear icon. I will click on change the look. Here I will go to navigations and you can see here we are getting an option of site navigation visibility. We can disable it and we can set it on the horizontally. And if I click on vertical, it will come here. So by this way, you can change the site navigation. We can also change the site navigation using the PowerShell. Let me show you how we can do that. Let me save this first. Let me right click on PowerShell. I will run as administrator. Okay. So here we'll type our first command, which is connect dash 
connect dash pnp online dash url then the site url i will paste the site url then space will type use web login dash use web login i will press enter okay so now we are connected to our sharepoint site now we'll type the command to change the site navigation so here in the site you can see as of now our navigation is set to vertical now let's change the navigation to horizontal i will type the command for that web equal to get dash pnp i will press enter now i will type the another command horizontal quick launch equals to dollar true equals to true now the sec another command is web update now the in the last i will type invoke invoke pnp query i will press enter now let's go to our sharepoint site and let's see our sharepoint site navigation is set to horizontal from vertical or not so i will refresh the page once and you can see now my navigation is now in the top okay friends so by this way we change the site navigation from horizontal to vertical and vertical to horizontal vice versa this is the way we can use the we can change it using the graphical user interface or we can do it using the powershell that's conclude our video demonstration thank you. for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos i will see you guys in next video